all right welcome back again on the trailblazer she has been eating the tires from the inside Let's see i can show you they right there even all right there but not out here so since i put a two and a half inch lip in it while back and i didn't flip this like some people say to do so what am i gonna do today to fix the issue this is the driver's side right here so as you see let me see right there. that side right there is longer and see that's the very edge of that <clears throat> you have this big piece right here which is right here and like i said this is the driver's side so what i'm gonna do to be able to make it stay right there i'm gonna flip it up like that put it upside down and that will be able to be just like that Let's see if i can put it right there without moving see like that long side we're going the front side which is right here but it's upside down so that will make this the longer piece on this side because if i flip that it will be wrong so what would that gonna do see how that is pointing that way the inside so i pulled my tire back a little bit and that's why it's eating it on the inside but if i put it like that it's gonna leave that a little more straight that thing pointing straight down so it's gonna push this out a little bit so that's gonna line my tires up that way it won't eat it like that again because this is the second set of tires i use in probably about four months i'll say because i drive a lot and a lot of curves and it won't last so to fix that issue i gotta do that before I put all the set of tires on. So that's what I'm about to do. I already got that ball loose a little bit. If you already done this, you know how painful that is. But it's doable, nothing for another world. So that's what I'm about to do. And then put this side on the other side, do the same thing, and we should be good to go. And I'm gonna get started. The size for that, I'm not sure. I'm gonna wanna tell you something that is not, but the only tool I have right now is a 7.8, which is a little too loose, but I'm gonna get it out and see if I can find the right size. If I have it, if not, this one will do it. As you can see, it ain't there right, but it's doing it. So I'm gonna keep doing that until I have to do something else. And when you're doing this, when you have to work on the car with the tire off, Always make sure you put wood, tire, something on there. You don't want to get hurt. I don't throw this to Jack. Never have. Even though I had to in there, I take that one up because I might need it down under here. Not sure yet, but I always put a piece of wood right there. That way, it's not going anywhere. Besides, you have the Jack. So, safety first. Don't get hurt. And once you get this side loose just take the ball out of there i just put my jack on the there jack it up a little bit with this hit it a little bit like that and i said if it doesn't have any rust it should come out easy and then you can take your bolts by hand because as you can see right there hard to put a tool right there and from up there it's too hard to do it so i just do it with my fingers but it's hard to do with one hand first so i got this with one and then do your bolt with no any pressure in it and it will come up so that's what i'm gonna do next and then remove this piece put the other one back in and we do the same process put it in like that and we should be good to go as simple as that Okay, so I got that, that one out. And I'm gonna put that one right there. 
you see that be the same star except it is upside down and I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna spray some of this in there you know how it's, it's quick sometimes well I'm about but whatever is left I put it in there no and here we go There you go. Once you line them up, they will go one way or another. There you go. <laughs> yes, you can feel your fingers in there, but okay. And I found another another tool. The closest I can get. The first one I was using it was um, seven eighths. This is 22, which is a, a little bit loose still. It's actually 21, but I don't have it. So it is what it is. You know, this one will do it. Good enough for me anyways. And once I put that in there, I line it back up again, put that in there. And that's just about it. So I'm going to tie them up and move to right here. Okay, I got that done. <clears throat> so now... Up there. Well, that's right there, you know. Will it come loose on me? I'm gonna let this down a little bit. Just gotta move from, from the dead just in case an accident. Maybe it's going the wrong way. Stop it. No, no, wrong way. Too much. I'm supposed to go up, no down. You know, messed up. There you go. And now, I'm gonna do my bolt. See if I can get it. Show you a little closer. Where is it? Right oh, there, there it is. See now, that gave me more room right there. And that gave me maybe a half an inch this way the way it won't eat my tire from the inside and we go from there so now I just gotta put the last bolt in there I need to go down some more yep I need to go down this a little more and then tie it up put my phone right here I ran into an issue along the way. You see how this one has that little tank right there? And this side doesn't. So, luckily, I just bought this. So, put it in there and made that on that one, of course. This is just to show you. What is it? damn camera see so let's see if that now it goes in I'm gonna try that now well that's it got it in there now just gotta tie it and we should be good to go and that's about it and I'm gonna update a video soon and see how I did few months to see the difference because I can tell in just one day you know I can tell you if it's doing the same thing it shouldn't because I can see already the difference right there so that's it I'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side but it's gonna get dark so I'm gonna have to speed up and thanks for watching like and subscribe for more on the next time God bless